Hello everybody, this is TCAT from TCAT's Deep Vinyl Tracks. I wanted to do a video um, that was inspired by Embryonic Robot. Uh, and I'd also like to uh, say a little bit about him. He's got a great channel here in the vinyl community. Um, and uh, I, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, it would be a good time to do it. And I will leave a link in the bottom here so that you can do so quite easily. Um, he's got a really nice channel uh, and he's put together this vinyl tag. I guess you could call it a vinyl tag. It's more of like a themed um, themed video that you could make showing any of your albums that are, have to do with winter, snow, ice, that kind of thing. Uh, or maybe even remind you of those things. So, I kind of like this idea of theme tags, and uh, I might also run with that ball and do a few of my own somewhere along the way. Anybody's welcome to join into this. Um, and so, what I'll do is go through and show you some of the albums I've found that have to do with winter, snow, ice, those kind of things. Uh, this is a little tougher than what I thought it was going to be when I first started out with it. Uh, I was able to locate some things that I will show. Um, the first one is a CD and this is My Morning Jacket's EP called Chocolate and Ice. Now even though this is an EP there are six tracks on here. The third track is well, it exceeds the 20 minute mark so by the time you get all of the tracks in there it's almost the size of a regular album but it's some of my Morning Jacket's earliest works and uh, real interesting stuff if you're interested in alternative country, indie folk and uh, with a little bit of experimentalism added in this is uh, good stuff. Another one uh, of course winter always has to do with Christmas so I'm sure there's going to be some Christmas albums in here in fact I know there will be a few of them um, this is one of them, Bob Dylan's Christmas in the Heart. This is an interesting CD that Bob Dylan put out uh, a couple of years ago. Nobody really, I don't think, expected to see Bob Dylan do a Christmas album. But he has done that, and it kind of has that retro feel to it. With the looks that he's got here, the, the inner sleeve and the way the disc looks. Interesting album and it also at least a spe special edition comes with Christmas cards and the envelopes to match. Now I haven't opened these or used these. I'd probably leave them sealed. But uh, interesting album from Bob Dylan. Now onto some records. Uh, this is a record by electronic artist Tomita. And this is his album, Snowflakes Are Dancing. Um, this particular album celebrates the music of Claude Debussy, who is my favorite, or at least one of my favorite classical artists. And uh, has some of his well-known songs on here, including Claire de Lune, Gollywog's Cakewalk, um, The Engulfed Cathedral. Uh, this is really a nice album. And has to do with winter or snowflakes. Uh, here's another electronic album by Tangerine Dream, Phaedra. I don't know if the pictures on this have anything to do with winter. Um, they kind of look like they do, so it reminds me of that if nothing else. Of course when you open the inner sleeve it looks like it might be like geysers or something like that, or you know the sulfur pots that they have in Yellowstone. Um, this comes on the Virgin, the old Virgin label. And it is very experimental. If you're familiar with Tangerine Dreams, more of their more recent albums, 
Uh, they're a little more, they're quite a bit more accessible. In fact, uh, this particular album is uh, one of their earliest ones. It's highly revered by people that listen to electronic music and progressive and uh, very interesting. Uh, I've shown this one before. This is the Residence Eskimo. This is a perfect one for the winter theme. And uh, this is everybody that knows the Residence and their strange ways of making music. This is one of their earliest albums and probably one of their most revered albums by the critics. Um, it comes with some ex explanations of Eskimo information of interest. That's what it says on there anyway. That's what the label looks like. And it's interesting music for sure. More of an avant-garde sound. Uh, if you're familiar with the Residence music, this is probably one of their more serious recordings as most of their recordings are quite strange. Uh, have a bit of humor to them and uh, make fun of music more or less di the different genres of music and uh, that one's probably one of the more serious ones. Uh, this next album is by a band um, that I've talked about before. Uh, it includes Tim Bonus and Stephen Wilson. The name of the uh, band is No Man. The name of this album is Together We're Stranger. Uh, this, of course, is a field of snow. And then we get the town behind there. Plus some weird lighting effects. So a nice cover. There's the inner sleeve. And uh, it's got a 2LP set. The, the music on this is a, more of the more recent No Man sound, which is very, very beautiful music. Um, hard to describe it. When they started out, they were more interested in um, beats and dance, experimental dance music. By the time they got to this album, they were in a transitionary stage and were going more for... Uh, a quiet and ambient style, but there's still plenty of nice guitar and everything that you would expect from Steve Wilson. Steve Wilson plays pretty much all of the instruments, except for some guests here and there. Robert Fripp's been known to join in on some of their albums, uh, a few artists like that. So, I'm trying to move it on a little bit faster because I'm taking up a lot of time. This is Charlie Brown's Christmas by the Vince World. Quaraldi Trio, hard, hard one to say. This uh, this edition or this album's been released in a lot of the different editions, especially lately. This one comes from a few years back and it was a Cracker Barrel exclusive. It comes on the Blue Fantasy label and it's a beautiful red and green vinyl. plays just fine. The sound is great on it. I know a lot of people complain about uh, colored vinyl, especially when it's multicolored like that. Uh, but this one, this one actually sounds really quiet and clean. Uh, post rock. I like a lot of post rock, and this is a, another post rock band coming out of Japan. The name of the band is Mono, M-O-N-O, -O. and. Uh, this one, of course, has the winter theme. Snowflakes. Girl laying out in the snow. Nice artwork. Uh, the album comes with this little pamphlet about uh, some of the different post-rock releases released on this particular label. And uh, it comes with a booklet that has some really nice artwork in it that kind of coincides with the music. Nice, uh, powerful, and beautiful at the same time. Um, Mono 
has put out quite a few different albums. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Even the label has snowflakes falling on one of the discs. There are two discs here, three songs on each disc. Usually they're comprised of uh, one side will have a, a one track, long track. The other side will have a somewhat shorter track and then a very short track at the end. So two discs made up the same way, but really beautiful and post rock. Paul Winters, I like I like Paul Winter. He's uh, one of my favorite jazz musicians. He plays, a lot of people have put him under the New Age umbrella. I, I don't know if that's true. Some of his albums are like that, and some of them are more up along the lines of traditional jazz or even avant-garde in some, some instances. Um, I think he was put under the New Age label because of his love for nature, and he ties a lot of his music to that. In fact, uh, has made a lot of recordings that have nature or sounds where he's actually played the saxophone along with a wolf howling, uh, different things like that. This one is uh, kind of tied to Christmas, but not exactly. There's nothing familiar on here. There's some traditional music from, and uh, Joy. Uh, J.C. Mann of, uh, I can't remember the name of it, it's a Bach song anyway, is on here. Um, J. Sue, Joy of Man's Desiring, that's the name of it, yes. And the name of the song on here is just Joy, that's why I was having a hard time coming up with it. Uh, another one along the same lines is George Winston's December. This is all piano solos by George Winston. Of course, most of you know he's a Wyndham Hill artist, and it comes on the Wyndham Hill label. A very That's one of their probably most popular releases, I believe. Uh, Fleetwood Mac's Penguin. Now, there's no snow there, but of course penguins have to do with the South Pole, so it has sort of a wintry theme. This is one of their earlier albums put out before Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham. You see Christine McVie down there, uh, the rest of the band. Bob Welch was with the band at this time. And uh, this comes on Frank Sinatra's Reprise label. Another quick one, Dan Fogelberg, High Country Snows. This is where Dan Fogelberg turns to bluegrass. This has a really nice bluegrass country sound to it. It's a departure from his usual sound. Uh, Camels, the Snow Goose, pretty obvious choice. I think I showed this one not too long ago because it is a fairly recent pickup for me. Um, this one here I picked uh, because of one song on it, which it has to do with winter, and it's one of my favorite all-time Doobie Brothers songs, one that's uh, and considered a deep track, which is why I'm including it here. It's called Clear as the Driven Snow, and that song starts out very acoustic sounding. Uh, but along the way it goes on acoustic for quite a while before it finally transforms into a really nice heavier guitar solo. Uh, one that just kind of picks up speed as it goes and really love that song. Um, I don't think it gets enough airplay or enough recognition and the, you know the Doobie Brothers uh, were really a good band before their album Taking It to the Streets. After that they kind of went left, left their sound with Michael McDonald leading them astray. Um, I don't want to go too, too far into that though. Uh, and last of all I want to show Fleet Foxes again. 
this is another album that doesn't have a winter theme on the cover, but has a song on it that uh, is very winter oriented. Uh, it was their single off of this album, White Winter Hymnal is the name of it. Uh, I love the Fleet Foxes. They, when I listen to them, I've never been to the Appalachians. Uh, I always had a dream to hike the Appalachian Trail someday, but now it's overcrowded. Uh, and some things have happened that, in my life that's made that impossible for now. But uh, great album. The Fleet Foxes make uh, indie folk music, which reminds me very much, or makes me think of what um, the Appalachians music would sound like. Uh, really nice feel to it. Uh, just beautiful music. So Fleet Fox is one that I highly recommend, especially for lovers of indie folk. Okay, that's it. Um, like I said, everybody go over to the Embryonic Robots channel. Uh, subscribe to his channel. He's got some interesting comment, uh, content there. Um, and uh, feel free to make a video like this and see what you've got that could be winter themed. Alright, thank you for watching. Talk to you later.